Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, we're going to talk about something uh, once again for beginners. This is part 11, Shortwave for Beginners series. We talked about the portable receivers, the types of portable receivers, but there's something out there that is also available, um, even though less than there used to be, but there's still, um, you know, uh, some of them available out there, and they are tabletop receivers. It could be a used tabletop model from the past. Uh, there's a few tabletop models that exist today that are much more expensive than portable radios. So one of the things that might come to mind is, should I invest in a tabletop model or should I invest in a portable receiver? Uh, to put things very bluntly, um, today the portable receivers we have are quite surprising and very sensitive. And for the most part, and for most enthusiasts, they will very often be uh, pretty much enough to do what they want to do. And the fact that they are portable makes it easy to go anywhere with them. But tabletop receivers, are they really that much better? Uh, yes, they tend to have a little more punch. They have a little more sensitivity. And often have a lot more bells and whistles, so they have options that aren't available in a lot of portable receivers that gives them that little extra boost of you know getting those weak signals and having them uh, on your radio. But they are very expensive, and that is the downside. That means that these radios will fetch you for, you know, this is my ICOM ICR-8500. This is a $2,000 receiver. And uh, it's been replaced by a wideband receiver called the ICOM ICR 8600. This one is even more expensive. So, you know, they are expensive. And more and more today, I have a hard time telling people that they are worth the price. Why? Because the offering of portable receivers and, of course, as we'll see in the next video, the advent of software-defined receivers is also giving a pretty big punch to the desktop uh, hobby as they are really amazing and cost a lot less than these tabletop models. One last thing that often tabletop models will do better than the, or the portables you will have is withstand overload. These radios are often rock solid and even with very powerful signals, will hold on and not overload like portables will do uh, very often. But it's a very, very different price range out there. You know, typically portables will run up to two to $300, where tabletops will run several thousand. So, you know, you got to have the money first to have one of those. And, um, you know, I have this one. And I have to tell you that if I had no tabletop models at all today, I don't think I would buy another tabletop uh, with, you know, much cheaper alternatives that actually do really, really well today. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.